Today on Auditing the Trolls, we are going to be taking a look at a video put out by Dummy Kruger. Not sure what that means, and maybe one day we will find out. Now, in full disclosure, this video is put out by me, Libertas Audits, and takes place at the Georgia State Capitol. This video has been in at least two, maybe three, troll videos. Since this one seems to be put together way better than the other one, I will review this one. In this video, Dummy tries to point out where I'm wrong by attempting to show how I was misinformed based on law. I give him props for that. Now let's see if he actually does. Let's get started. Your channel, everyone. Today's video brings us to the State Capitol building in Atlanta, Georgia. I decided to cover this particular video after the channel, Libertus Audits, decided to file a copyright claim against the Fraud or Troll channel. The auditor made a response video in regards to the strike claiming fraud or troll was, wait for it, a troll. Well, yeah, it's even in their name. He also claims that his content was stolen, that fraud or troll is just a bully, and doesn't provide any educational value in his videos. Well first, the guy's content wasn't stolen, it was transformative and that's why the video will be put back up eventually. And second, I don't see fraud or troll as a bully, I see them as calling out the nonsense these auditors try to espouse. And finally, Fraud or Troll doesn't have to provide any educational elements to his video if he decides not to. It's completely irrelevant. He is admittedly a satire channel, but if it's education Libertus wants, I'll play ball. On top of that, I may just add some satire in for fun. Let's jump right in. Have you ever had a conversation with someone and then that conversation gets back to you by someone else and you kind of tilt your head and go, huh? I never said that. In the two videos I did that he mentioned, I never mentioned he was a bully, and I never mentioned that they were not educational. And I'm not sure what the point was in mentioning that I think he is a troll was about. Not sure why he pointed this out. Like, I didn't know this? He is a troll. As far as his video being transformative, that, that can only be decided by a judge or a jury. And I covered this several times in my response videos, the ones he's mentioning. I guess you wanted to leave that out, and yet you say it was transformative. How do you know it was? You know what they say about opinions. I suggest you and all the other trolls leave that to the court of law before saying it was transformative, and I will refrain from saying it was stolen. Fair enough. So you need my ID? You got, to, you got a photo ID? No. You don't have a photo ID? No, I got press credentials. You don't have anything with your picture on it? No, sir. I got nothing. You're not driving license? Nope, not with me. Okay. Uh -oh. Where's Officer Frazier at today? Uh, he's, uh, he's in another building. What's your I believe he's trying to make some kind of freedom of the press argument with his press pass. The freedom of the press doesn't grant you access to the building. Is he under the impression it has some sort of magical powers? It doesn't. The freedom of the press is there so you may disseminate news without fear of interference from the government. That's simply not what is transpiring in this video. Okay, let me clarify something on this. Uh, this is something I made up a while ago. And it was kind of a joke because there's two things when you do an audit that you get asked all the time. Do you have an ID? And so I would show that this is my ID. ID. Get it? Kind of play on words. Okay. The other one, then they'll say, uh, where's your press credentials? Nobody issues. Let me rephrase that. The government does not issue press credentials, okay? So that's why I made this uh, little ID up, and it's just on the back. So no, I know it does not grant me any privileges. But just to clear that up, um, that's why I made that, and that's why I presented it, because he asked for ID. Uh, All right, what's your last name? Yes. All right. And what's your first name? Carl. And your middle name? I'm sorry? Your middle name? Uh, I'm not sure why you that. You have a middle name? No. Okay. All right. And not the name? one I'm going to give. What's your date of birth? <laughs> what is this supposed to do? Just curious. If you don't have an ID, we got to check you through the computer, make sure you are who you are. So you why? Can, so you can have access into the building. Isn't that a violation of my Fourth Amendment rights? No, it's Why? not a violation of your right. Why not? You want to have access to the building, right? That, that's 
that's a question with a question. So my question my is... My question. You want to come in? Yes, sir. Okay. I want to do it without having to identify you myself. You can't do it that way. Why? What's the, what's that, the Georgia that's... statute? Well, I'm glad you asked. Let's take a look. First, let's check out what they require to enter the Capitol building. So entrance to state buildings is contingent upon consent to search and metal detector screening. Visitors may be required to provide identification or sign in. Visitors must comply with requests from security personnel. Visitors who do not comply with security requirements may not enter state buildings. The state code that you see at the bottom, 50-16-14, gives security personnel and law enforcement that authority. On top of that, state statute 50-9-9, grants the Georgia Building Authority, or the GBA, the authority to establish rules and regulations to carry out the protection of the Capitol building property and its grounds, and to protect against unreasonable disruptions of state employees in the performance of their official duties. So these are some of the guidelines and restrictions for use of the state buildings. The Georgia Department of Public Safety is authorized and empowered to remove any person from any such property or building when the person's activities interfere with or disrupt the activities of the operations carried on in such a property or building or constitute a safety hazard to the property or building or the inhabitants thereof. So they've been authorized and empowered to protect the building and the inhabitants. And one of those protections is if you're over the age of 18, you must show identification to go into the building. Okay, a summary on Google is not the actual law. And what you posted here is not stated in the law anywhere. This is the actual Georgia state statute. Now three things happened here. You were either lazy and did not thoroughly research your subject matter. Two, you did and it did not match your narrative. And three, you are lying by omission due to the second reason. Which is it? Inquiring minds want to know. What's your date of birth again? And you what? say you don't have a middle name? No, I didn't say that. I just said I'm not going to give it. Edwin is your middle name? I'm not answering any more questions. What's your um, address? I'm not answering any more questions. That's all that's required. Even the state statute says all I have to do is hold show on, it. Hold on, hold on, just for a minute. Yes, sir. Sure. What was your name? Yeah. Sir, what was, your, what was your name? Paul. How are you? Sorry. What was your name? Just oh, okay. Just stay right. yes, you never did give me your name and badge number, though. Okay. What was your name again, officer, please? No, I asked you what your name was. You can give it to me, right? I'm, I'm in the performance of my job, okay? Okay, and so part of your job right is giving me your name when name asked. Name tight over here, okay? Part of your name is, part of your job is to give me your name, correct? When asked? Okay, now, to be fair to the auditor, if it is in their code of conduct, which I'm not sure, I believe the officer should be identifying himself. However, per the auditor, shouldn't there be some sort of state statute behind this? Is it like some law or something? I always find the hypocrisy quite telling. A supervisor comes up and escorts our fraud auditor outside to discuss the clear miscarriage of justice. Let's jump to that. Well, of course you're not sure. It does not fit your narrative. So far, you have provided all kinds of so-called proof where I am supposedly wrong, yet you had no curiosity here to see if I was? My guess is you did look it up and found out I was right. Let me post it for you. And while I let the people review the code of contact of the Georgia State Patrol, I will address the second part of your comment. No, there is no law, and this code of conduct is mandated by his employer, why would it be a state law? Each police department sets their own code of conduct for each department. Some departments are not required to identify under their policies. Please explain the, the hypocrisy in this. There is a difference between a public servant doing what they agreed to when they put on the badge and the person they work for that are offered protections under the Fourth Amendment. Not the same thing. This is the thing. To go in there, yeah. you're going to show your photo ID. Okay. You don't show your photo ID, you don't go in. Okay. It's that simple. Okay, so violating someone's rights. That's not violating your rights. How sir. so? There's a list of people that we have that is not able to go in this building. There's a lot of people in this building that we okay. have that is 
a target of a lot of different things. Okay. And there's certain people has has came up here. Okay. And actually has displayed some type of actions that makes them think that they are in danger. So we put them on the list. Okay. Our reason for looking at your form of identification right. is to make sure that you're not one of those people. All right. So if you don't want to show your form of identification, okay. then you're not going in, sir. Okay. It's that simple. Well, that still doesn't explain. I you, just did explain, no. it, and I'm not going to explain anything else. You have a good day, sir. So let me explain why his reasons don't fly. This may be the policy of why they ask, but this goes against state law, which, by the way, is a very odd law. But after researching for at least an hour or more, this is the only law I could find. And oh, by the way, Georgia is a stop and ID state, but it has to be done for specific reasons. And in my case, and everyone else that gets ID'd at the Capitol, this is not a valid reason and therefore unconstitutional. These are the reasons a police officer can stop and ID you. It's patterned somewhat on the SCOTUS case, um, Terry v. Ohio, where the cop has to have suspicion. Uh, articulable suspicion. So I'll let you read that. You can pause it and uh, read the whole law. Um, but yeah, this doesn't comport with what he's telling me. So, you know, they did, used to do this for blacks 60 years ago here in the same thing. Sir. Oh man, just gross to compare him showing his ID to get in a government building for safety measures to whites only signs, no voting rights, segregation, and a plethora of other injustices. Fortunately, we now have anti-discrimination laws and civil rights protections today, though we can always continue to improve them. But in no way are those two things comparable. I know you don't like facts, but to quote Ben Shapiro, facts don't care about your feelings or anyone else's. What they were doing were violating my rights. As I pointed out earlier, there is no state statute that specifically says I have to show ID to gain access to the state capitol. And their excuses that they were just following the law or policy, following orders as they say. One last thing, if this guy was a cop 60 or 80 years ago, he would have been explaining a different reason and excuse to a black person and telling him why he could not let him in at the entrance, but had to use the other one for colored people, because you know it's the law. I'm it's a rule, say, right? I, I'm I know, I know I'm you are. You don't care about your oath. You don't care about the Fourth Amendment that you swore to uphold. This is a rule. Are, are you done, sir? No, I'm not done. Okay, well, I am. You have you a good are? day, sir. You want to give it a try? No, I'm not engaging with you. Oh, there, you're not? There's nothing in the oath that I took that makes me have to listen to you. So. What was that again? There's nothing in the oath that I took that makes me have to answer your questions. Uh, that's true, but it, no. you do have to honor your... Wow. Unbelievable. I just love it when I run across a cop like this. He knows exactly the type of person he's dealing with, and this is the reaction they deserve. No matter what they claim, they are looking for confrontation. Okay, so after this, he talks his way back inside by agreeing to give up his name, his date of birth, and be run through their system because he won't show a picture ID. Okay, I'm going to stop the video right here, and I'm going to go ahead and edit out this part of the video and insert the whole video or at least the part that he edited out. So it'll show the whole thing of what happened and how they let me in there without me giving my address. Now, I admit, and I've said this before, I'm splitting hairs here. But at the end of the day, I got in without showing a picture ID and giving them all my information. So I take that as kind of a win. But why didn't you just show the whole video? What are you trying to hide? Uh, I don't get that. It's with me the whole time, so let's go. And you, so you do not have a problem with us checking your identification, correct? I don't have an identification. Uh, I'll give you, you have a license. Do you have an issued license to use? I'll give him my name. Full name. Full name, name birth. Birth. Yeah. You do not have a problem with us running it. Oh, I do have a problem. Well, I have, have a problem. huge problem well, with it. If you have a problem with it, then you can No, I'll it. go ahead and give it. You, look, are you consenting it or not? Yes, sir, or no? I'm yes, consenting. Sir. Okay, thank you. That's Under threat you of arrest. For trespassing, no, right? You have freedom to leave. No, and if I you and have if freedom I, to leave, and if you I can leave right now. oh, of course I can, and if I'm free to go, I'm free to stay, right? No, sir. Not if no. I give my full name. I'm not getting into this, okay? I don't oh, know of course you. you don't want to get into it. I don't know it. you. 
You guys don't like the Constitution. You guys just follow orders, right? I'm not causing any ruckus. I'm not causing any ruckus. Exercising my first uh, Fourth Amendment rights is not causing a ruckus. Is it? Are you going to give your information? I'm waiting for him to ask me. He didn't verify his middle name. I asked him what. What's it say? It's up north. This is the correct address. Can you confirm the, the address that's on your license? Starts with 36. What's the odds of Carl knowing what it is? So but now you guys you know what it is. You can't I can, it. but you, you see it right asking, there. I'm asking you to confirm it. We're trying to confirm your identity. What's, give it to me then. What, is, what do you see? What do you see? And what was your name again, sir? And badge number? You do have a policy, right? You're a corporal? The policy is, is when asked what your name and badge number to give it, correct? Is that the state he's police? Not, he's, not, he's good to go. He can go in if you want to. You know where you're going? Maybe. I haven't heard that anywhere. No one has threatened to arrest you. You are free to leave any time you'd like. But if you still want to enter the Capitol, well, you know what needs to be done. Well, if I want to go in there and I don't give him my ID and I try to go in there, I will be arrested. Let's take a look at the law. Any person who refuses to obey any lawful order or any security personnel or law enforcement officer issued pursuant to code section 50-16-14, by the way, nowhere does it say in there that I have to show my ID, or 50 dash 16 dash 15 or any person who refuses to vacate any such property or building when requested to do so shall be guilty of a misdemeanor so yeah they would have arrested me if i tried to assert my willingness to go in there i chose not to so it was under the threat of arrest and what was your name again sir and badge number you do have a policy, right? You're a corporal. The policy is, is when asked what's your name and bass number to give it, correct? Is that the state he's police? Not, he's, not, he's good to go. He can go in if you want to. You know where you're going? I'm just going to, I'm just going to take a look. I'm going to exercise my first amendment rights. Okay. Is that okay? I'm not going to cause any problems. I didn't mean to cause any problems here. You guys are the ones that are violating my rights. So this sign is posted on the front door of the Capitol building. I have a question for Libertas Audits. There are no firearms allowed in the building as well. Do you believe that to be a violation of your Second Amendment right? In an audit of the Judicial Center, where the Georgia Building Authority also has been granted authorization to implement rules to protect the building and its visitors, he said the following. I mean, I don't need protection. I, I you know, if I well, could, you're here, <laughs> you're here just in case. To protect right, the understood, but... I, I don't have protection with me right now. I'm not dumb enough to, to walk in here with a firearm. So why do you feel that way? If requiring ID to enter this state building where the GBA has authority to implement rules and regulations lawfully is violating your Fourth Amendment right, how come you don't have the same reaction to not being allowed to carry a firearm in the building? More with the selective editing. I had a very long conversation with the trooper explaining my thinking on this. And by the way, yes, I have a huge problem with the government not letting me bring my firearm with me. But there is a thing called choosing your battles. In both of my audits, I was not there to challenge the Second Amendment and my right to carry. I was there to challenge the Fourth Amendment. Why bring it if I knew I was not going to be let in with it? And the last thing I want is a confrontation with the police over a gun. I'm not going to post that conversation here in the video, but I will put a link to the conversation I had and where it started in the description down below. Go check it out. Come to think of it, let's just play a little game to see how many rights are being violated by their lawful rules and regulations, shall we? Okay, so one of their rules is posting, hanging, and affixing signs, banners, flags, announcements, documents, or decorations on any exterior or interior surface of the Capitol building or ground surface is prohibited. Now, is this violating your First Amendment right to freedom of expression? Bunch of tyrants, man. 
Okay, so one point for tyranny. How about encroaching upon the grass and gardens of the Capitol grounds is not allowed other than the grass area located at Liberty Plaza? What say you, Libertus? Seems to me they are trying to restrict your constitutional right to travel. Bunch of tyrants, man. Okay, that's two for tyranny and zero for the Constitution. How about smoking electronic vapor is prohibited in state facilities? I mean, what is this, North Korea? I say you have the right to fire up that vape anytime you feel the need to. Thoughts? Bunch of tyrants, man. I mean, I think I'm starting to... No, because I realize that the First Amendment is not absolute, and there are time, place, and manner restrictions on the First Amendment and manner would fall under the posting or hanging banners. By not allowing me to do that, that does not restrict my free speech rights. And actually, if I hang something someplace on the wall, then it's not me speaking, but just posting something on the wall. So it would not be a violation of my First Amendment. Bunch of tyrants, man. Okay, so one point for tyranny. How about encroaching upon the grass and gardens of the Capitol grounds is not allowed other than the grass area located at Liberty Plaza? What say you, Libertus? Seems to me they are trying to restrict your constitutional right to travel. This must be the satire part, right? There's a huge difference between leaving one state to another and walking on the grass at the state capitol. In the SCOTUS case of Crandall versus Nevada, the court ruled the states could not prevent people from moving from one state to another to pay lower taxes, hence allowing for the freedom of movement. So unless you can show a connection between walking on the state capitol's grass and leaving a state, i.e. free movement, I would say... No, that is not restricting my freedom of movement and violating my constitutional rights. Bunch of tyrants, man. Okay, that's two for tyranny and zero for the Constitution. How about smoking electronic vapor is prohibited in state facilities? I mean, what is this, North Korea? I say you have the right to fire up that vape anytime you feel the need to. Thoughts? Sure, I'll give you my thoughts. That's really stupid. Smoking, vaping is not a constitutional right, so it can be restricted. Come on, man. You got to do better than that. I'm starting to see where he's coming from. Tyranny is literally everywhere. How about this one? Balloons are not allowed in the interior public areas of the Capitol building. But what if they are freedom balloons? Let's just call them freedom balloons. Surely they are allowed, right? I've already addressed that above. This is getting ridiculous. Bunch of tyrants, man. Oh man, four to zero with Tierney taking a commanding lead. Okay, how about this one? Handheld signs may only be displayed in the common areas of the Capitol and may not exceed 22 inches by 28 inches in size. Libertus, if this isn't a violation to your First Amendment rights, I don't know what is. I do have a challenge for you though. Please go back to the Capitol building with a 23 inch by 29 inch sign. Show them who the real freedom fighter is. Now there's something I might challenge, just for fun. Bunch of tyrants, man. Yeah, I agree. Five to nothing tyranny. How about this one? The following are not allowed in buildings due to the health and safety of building occupants who may be chemical sensitive or suffer with allergy problems. Heated potpourri pots, scented sprays, or other pugnant odor items. Alright, I'm done. That's officially a bridge too far, even for me, an apparent massive bootlicker. I cannot believe that they think they can restrict my right to a sweet-smelling lavender and coconut-infused potpourri pot. Do I even have to ask, Auditor? Again, with the nonsense, this is these are none of those are constitutional rights. But it is kind of sad that you're kind of playing games with people's rights, or you think this is funny that people's rights are violated. You know, not everybody is a bootlicker like you. And thinks that uh, you just got to follow what the cops say. Unless it's tyrant, and that's definitely applicable. And there we have a clean sweep for tyranny. I believe you may be onto something, Mr. Rights Protector. The rest of his video is him walking around the Capitol building for about 10 minutes while being escorted by one of the officers. Of course he doesn't like that and whines about it the whole time. He does stop to read the Declaration of Independence and the Bill of Rights, which I found somewhat humorous given his lack of comprehension skills. Lack of comprehension skills? Did you even watch your video? 
I, I hope you watch it now and seen how I dismantled everything that you pointed out that I was wrong about when I wasn't. So just a quick recap. Um, there is no ID requirement in any state statute. Now I'm still open to be proven wrong. And if you want to, I'll go ahead and listen, create another video. You can um, challenge this video and point out where I'm wrong here. I don't think you will. I don't think you can. But if you do, I'm willing to take a look. Best of luck to you, buddy. Till next time, auditing the trolls out.